How is it to go? One night out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. U for the Nintendo Wii U. If you guys give me a favor, drop a like on this video. I'd really appreciate that. And let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. Um, what do you hope is the next 3D Mario game that they make? Do you hope it's a sequel to Super Mario 64? Do you hope it's a sequel to Super Mario Sunshine? Do you hope it's Super Mario Galaxy 3? Do you hope it's a sequel to Super Mario Odyssey? Do you hope it's a sequel to Super Mario 30 World? Or do you hope it's a sequel to Bowser's Fury? Just let me know down in the comments below. Doesn't Spark on Waters remind you of Noki Bay from Super Mario Sunshine? It really reminds me of Noki Bay from Super Mario Sunshine. I absolutely love Noki Bay so much. Now we're going to play Haunted Shipwreck. The first boo house level in the game. I'm keeping the squirrel suit, definitely. Because squirrel suit's gonna be much more useful than the fire slab one. So I'm definitely keeping the squirrel suit, because it's gonna make it a lot easier. Because you can be so OP if you have the squirrel suit. There we go. There we go. That's our first star coin. It, I just want to say this. Every single boat house has a secret exit. I'm saying this just in case if you was watching this playthrough for some reason as a guide. That's not the reason why I'm saying this. I'm not sure who would watch a playthrough as a guide or anything like that. Wait, watch out. The LP carousel sometimes get me or something like that. And it did not get me this time. That's two star coins so far. And the third star coins up here. And you can get easily get the squirrel suit. You can also do the secret exit with it. Let's get let's do the secret exit first. You can also do the, do the secret exit if you have the squirrel suit. So that's it. Simple as that. Look how easy that secret exit was with the squirrel suit. We have 38 lives now. Our goal is to get to 99. This will unlock a path to the secret level, of course. Of course, we get a new power up. And this unlocks a path to the secret level. But we'll be going there a little bit later. First, we'll do the regular exit of this level. Excuse me. There's also some levels in New Super Mario Bros. Wii like this. Just in case you did not know, if you did not watch my new Super Mario Bros. Wii playthrough, you should go back and watch that. It was so much fun. So you should definitely go back and watch that playthrough if you haven't already. I really wanted to keep the squirrel suit because it would make the rest of it a little... It would make the rest of it a lot easier, but I, I just had to lose it for an unlucky decision I made. No! It's very easy to get hit right there. They're really hard to dodge. Wow. Why am I sucking so badly? We got our power up back. So we're going to go to the regular exit now. Huh. I was wishing I, I kept the squirrel suit because I wish I kept the squirrel suit because it would make it a lot easier. But that's okay. We don't really need the squirrel suit for the, for the next couple levels anyway. Because these levels aren't really that difficult anyway. Come on, I was trying to get some momentum. 
I have I have when I play 2D Mario games is trying to you press two buttons with one thumb. Like if the same thumb is holding you, let's say the X button to boost, while I'm trying to press the A button to jump. It makes it a little bit harder for me to press the A button because I'm doing it with one thumb. That's a tricky thing for my thumb sometimes. All right. Let's go on to 3-3. Above the cheap, cheap seas. This is a level I kind of had bad memories with. Excuse me. It really isn't even that difficult by any means. It's really not that hard at all. It's just... It's just the cheap cheeps are really annoying. And I hate these cheap cheeps. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Right. These cheap cheeps are really, really annoying. We lost Yoshi. Where's Yoshi? Where did we get Yoshi? Thank you. Thank goodness he's back. Thank goodness we got Yoshi back. Like I told you, this level is ridiculous. It gets ri it's ridiculous what you have to do in this level. It's crazy. Because these cheap cheeps are almost impossible to avoid. They're almost impossible to avoid. They're almost impossible to avoid. I absolutely hate those guys. Because they'll hit you. If, even if you're good at the game, they're still almost, they're still really, really difficult to avoid. Oh, I wanted to get the golden flagpole. I wanted to get the top of the flagpole. <sighs> that was a lot more, that was a lot more annoying than I thought it would be. Alright, so Urchin Shoals is 3-4. This one's a little bit easier. You know, it does require the worst power-up in the Mario series, which is the Mini Mushroom, which is a power-up I really don't like. We're going to use it anyway, because I have to. Because I have to. It's going to require the stupid Mini Shroom, which is a power-up I really don't like, but we're going to use it anyway, because I have to, in order to get the Star Coins. And there we go. First star coin pretty easy right there. You just need to keep running right here. There we go. Now Mini Mushroom can go die in this level. We can easily get rid of the Mini Mushroom. We can ditch this Mini Mushroom. I'm not... We can grab the check card. We don't need the mini mushroom for the third star coin. We only need it for the first two. Can you understand why nobody likes the mini mushroom? Because if you have the mini mushroom, that means if you get hit once, you die. So I understand why nobody likes the mini mushroom. Who would come up with the idea of mini mushroom? I'm not sure who would come up with the idea of that power up of the mini mushroom, so. Thankfully, we did not die, because sometimes when I have the mini mushroom, I get paranoid about dying. I, I mean, I don't know more, but I used to would. Used to, when I had the mini mushroom, I would get paranoid about dying, and it would. But because I really wouldn't want to die with the mini. Because with the mini mushroom, if you hit once, you die. That's what makes it the worst power up of the Mario series. Excuse me. The mini 
mushrooms, the mini mushrooms does a terrible power up. Mm. Can you understand why nobody likes the mini mushroom? I can definitely understand that because the mini mushroom is a horrible power up. So I can completely understand why nobody likes the mini mushroom. Like at all. Now we're gonna do three dash five. No mini mushrooms in world four, thank goodness. Dragon Nails Undersea Garado. This is an underwater level here, and it's kind of a difficult one, I guess. You just have to dodge this guy. He's not that hard to dodge. So that's our first star coin. Pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. So this water level is like desert and water at the same time. This is like... Those dragon nails remind me of an enemy. They remind me of Gobble Cup from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Like they really do. And if you've not watched my Super Mario Galaxy 2 playthrough, you should go back and watch that 100% playthrough I did of Super Mario Galaxy 2. That was so much fun and I thoroughly enjoyed it so much. So you should definitely go back and watch that playthrough if you haven't already. Because it's so much fun. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing that playthrough. It was a lot of fun. Because I enjoyed getting to 100% the game. I enjoyed getting to get all the green stars. And I also enjoyed getting to um, do everything in the game. Except for the burning box missions. Because I hate the burning box missions. Alright. In the next video, we'll do the last two levels of World 3, and then that will wrap World 3. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.